Hey everyone, welcome to my channel The Aesthetic Illusion. In this video, I'll show you a simple tutorial to make this type of 2D vector landscape through digital art. But before that, make sure you do subscribe to my channel for more such tutorial videos. So let's begin. Here I selected the gradient tool for the sky in the background. I used purple and blue hues so that it would match the mood of the painting. As you have seen, I have created a dramatic sunset scene. So I use the gradient tool to create the background of the painting and you can use any color according to the mood of your painting. After that, using the lasso tool, I carved in the foreground and filled it with a darker tone to match the contrast. In my case, I made a heat top as the base and also made some cloud structures in the background. You can carve out any random shapes according to your painting. You can use any color to color the clouds as per your painting. I use a darker blue here. created some more clouds in the back. I used different colors so that the cloud would look different from each other and eventually would create the contrast. After that, I decreased the opacity of the cloud layers so that we can add in the glow beneath it. The opacity is based according to your painting. Selecting an orange hue and using a soft round brush, I made a glow beneath the cloud layers. Soft round brush is the best there because it creates that nice blurry effect along the edges. Remember to change the blending mode to screen so that it creates a soft glow in the back. To create some drama using the same technique, I added a bit of purple hue too. You can play with the opacity if you want here. You can adjust the layers as per your wish. Now to further add some more lights to the scene, use the same technique as select a reddish orange hue and use the soft round brush to paint it over the sky. But this time changing the changing the blend mode to color dodge it will create a nice glow effect in the back. After changing the blending mode you can transform your layer and after adjusting the size use the wrap tool to give it a nice arc across the sky. You can play with the obesity if you want. Now as you are seeing the edges are too sharp and it's not blending in. Don't worry for that. The Gaussian blur tool and Use it to adjust the uh, adjust the edges unless you have a nice smooth blend. Now let's move further. Here I use the custom brush to add the tree in the foreground. You can use any image as your reference to make the custom brush. And after that, using the clipping marks layer, let's create the catch light in the tree. By using the soft round brush and change the blending mode to color dodge, you can play with it the opacity if you want. Now let's create another layer using the pen tool. Let's draw in the shadow of the tree and fill it with a darker tone. Now since the shadow is too sharp, using the Gaussian blur to smooth it out would help it out and adjust the opacity too. But remember to use a darker color than the foreground color. Using the Gaussian blur will smooth out the shadow which will create a natural effect. You can use the transform tool to match the orientation if you want. Now let us use a hard round brush and paint over random spots in the sky to show the stars. Now in blending options of the layer, go and select the outer glow to add some glow to the stars. Keep the blending mode as screen and adjust the spread, size and opacity as shown. You can use any color as per your painting. Similarly, let's add some bit of glow here. Orange glow would look good. Now let's add a shooting star to our painting. In a similar way, 
you can go to the blending options and add some gradient as shown here gradient will create a nice color effect to our shooting star i use a bit of orange and yellow for the gradient now you can add some outer glow also like the stars after the gradient let's add the outer glow now you can play with the parameters as you want because it's overall your painting and it will you will decide what amount of glow would look good here i increase the spread to around 59 and size around 35 pixel so that it looks good by changing it will create a, you can just play with the parameters so that it gives a nice natural effect now for the backlight in the clouds i use the clipping mask over the layer of the, of the clouds and added a subtle glow using a soft round brush with a low opacity and color dodge the blending mode you can do it with the other cloud also you can use any color of your choice that will look good at last i drew in a character and created the shadow by duplicating the layer and flipping it also i changed the color to a darker tone to match the shadow of the tree as we did with the tree you can distort the shadow and orient it according to your wish also you can add some gaussian blur also let's add some catch light to the character like before we did it with the tree some orange hue would look good with the color dodge blending mode and decrease the opacity as per your wish at last i added some finishing touches and also color graded a bit to make the colors look even more vibrant i have done it with the camera raw filter you can see in the steps coming ahead you can darken the edges using some brushes and decrease the opacity so that it it looks natural i use the camera raw filter to create some pleasing colors that is basically the color grading the painting and yes it's done the 2d vector landscape is ready Thanks for watching my tutorial and comment down your reviews and if you have watched the video till here please do like the video and please subscribe to my channel and also let me know if you want more such videos on digital art in the future that's all for today bye bye